Welcome back to Yuri Jada 120. This is a series of videos of things that I think that you should know. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the converse accident logical fallacy. Uh, this is one of many, many logical fallacies that are worth knowing about, and we're going to be talking about quite a few of them. Um, and so this is uh, a, a fallacy, a generalization fallacy. So there's a Latin term for it. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, a dicto secundum quid ad dictum simpliciter. Uh, but the it's not necessarily all that important to know to remember the name or anything like that. So much as what it is. So how how it works is when there's a rule and there's an exception to that rule. So uh, let's say the rule is a law, or the exception to that rule is an exception encoded directly in that law, and if you want to ignore, or maybe you're subconsciously kind of ignoring the fact that it's a, an exception to the rule, and you try to make the argument that because there's this exception, uh, that the whole rule should work as the way the exception does. So it, perhaps an example might make this a little bit more clear. So, uh, quote, if we allow people with glaucoma to use medical marijuana, then everyone should be able to, or allowed to use marijuana. So there is kind of a a, uh, a natural uh, tendency for uh, us to kind of hear something like that and go, oh, well, that, that seems reasonable. But again, it, there may be reasons why uh, marijuana, I mean, again, the marijuana, it, it may or may not be a good example here because the reasons are mostly discussed. But if you had not done the research and you had not seen, you know, the reasons why it's illegal, the reasons why, uh, it, you know, could, you know, be legalized, you know, the whole Colorado thing had never happened. If all you knew is that marijuana itself was illegal and there's a subset of people that had mar the legal uh, ability to use medical marijuana uh, based on their doctors looking into it, based on a medical need for it, um, there's a kind of a, a missing piece that you would need to prove in order to, to argue that everyone should be able to and allowed to use marijuana for non-medicinal purposes, which is that there, there has to be a benefit to it. Now, of course, you could make that argument. There's nothing keeping you from ma making that argument. But if your only argument for it was that because there's this exception to this rule, that everyone should be in this exception, know, you would actually have to state that. You would have to go and say, well, you know, everyone should be in the same class of people <laughs> that, you know, is allowed to use it because, because why? Again, you'd have to have some, some reason. Here, here's another one. And this is from a website. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I lost the website. Oh, well. Okay. Quote, because you allowed Jill, uh, who was hit by a truck, to hand in her assignment late, you should allow the entire class to hand in their assignments late. So again, there, there's an obvious kind of cause and effect relationship between why this Jill person is handing her uh, assignment in late, which seems like a reasonable thing to allow for someone who's been hit by a truck, and you know, her handing that assignment in. That is not applicable to the entire rest of the class. You know, if you're uh, beset by some kind of catastrophe, you should expect uh, at least reasonableness from the people uh, who you're dealing with to maybe help uh, cover uh, for you in that case. Um, it is unaccept or it is not necessarily a good idea to allow the entire class to to uh, also benefit from that happening because in this particular example, if you think about it, then you know Jill is still behind. She's still out, you know, whatever her pain and suffering, the amount of recovery time uh, towards getting her assignment in. And so it would make sense for her to then go after the entire class has been given some extra time and say, well, everyone else got some extra time, but I didn't because I had to spend that extra time recovering from my injury and they did not. So again, it's just there's a missing piece of the argument and there's going to be a lot of logical fallacies that work like this where you have to, in order to make a, a valid argument, you'd have to fill in that missing piece. And then another perhaps suggested example because we allow China to add uh, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere willy-nilly, 
we should allow everyone, including Canada, to add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere willy-nilly. Now, again, there may be a reason why you could make some kind of argument that's very similar to this. Uh, however, that argument is not made in this particular sentence. You would have to expand on it and say why the because works. You would have to say why it is that allowing everyone uh, to add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere uh, is not necessarily you know, a ridiculous uh, idea on, on, on space. So um, just in, in general, you're, you're, you're always dealing with this kind of exception to the rule. So whenever you're dealing with uh, these kind of generalizations, these, these statements where you're, you're, you're suggesting that something, the scope of something is wider than the, the initial view is or, or should be wider than the, the initial scope is, take a look. See if you're, you're committing this particular kind of fallacy. See if you're missing a reason why the, the, the class of people or the class of things that you're trying to generalize uh, is or should be general. Um, if you cannot find a, a, a good reason for it and you can't express it, then maybe you're committing this fallacy. And it's worth always considering whether or not you're committing a logical fallacy. And so hopefully, uh, you know, that th this this may be the sort of thing you may need to write a program to remind you, uh, or, or a reminder, or, or some kind of a note to keep it fresh in your mind. It's easy to forget. It's easy to fall back into to, to continue to make this mistake even after you've learned about it. But nevertheless, you now you know it's there. You know to watch for it. Hopefully you do. So uh, hopefully this has been a, a, a worthwhile lesson. And uh, again, this is your region at 120. Um, 13, and uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to ha have some more examples to maybe clarify how this works, feel free to ask uh, in any comment thread where this is posted. Uh, I'll be there uh, looking for your questions. See you next video.